What's up everyone, China Cycling here at the Sea Otter 2024 bike show brought to you by pandapodium.cc. You guys know me, I usually go to the Shanghai bike show, the Taipei bike show. This is my first time in a Western bike show. I'm gonna go around, see what's different, see what's hot, see what's not, and uh, check it out. So let's take a look. So here over at the SRM booth, we've got some interesting products. Obviously SRM known to be the grandfathers of the power meter, so to speak. Uh, so obviously before you could get your SRM power meters with all sorts of crank options, right. they even have options, you know, uh, super lightweight carbon ones, but always out of stock, always hard to get your hands on, etc. Uh, I saw an interesting like crossover coming soon. So obviously Cybre, we sell those on the site. I use the Cybre crank sets on a bunch of my pro uh, bikes, etc. So there's gonna be an SRM origin branded version of these crank sets. Uh, so powered by Cybre, but SRM origin branding, and you'll be able to pair that with your SRM power meter. So you'll be able to have super lightweight cranks, super stiff cranks, but with you know what people regard as one of the best power meters on the market. So super interesting, east versus west crossover there. I also foresaw SRM are bringing out their own uh, new version of their road power pedals. So these ones are a Shimano platform now, SPD SL. Uh, these things just 140 grams per pedal so yeah super lightweight for a for a road bike power meter pedal uh not cheap uh, the dual sided pair is like 1600 dollars but if you want the best if you want the lightness you gotta pay to play i guess okay so home away from home another brand from shaman elite wheels here at sea otter uh, they have their new drive helix wheels so if you like your wavy rims they've got you covered I think there's three different depths. Basically, each depth has a slightly shallower front wheel and a slightly deeper rear wheel. But yeah, you've got your shallower, your medium, and your deeper. Uh, wave your rims, carbon spokes, all that good stuff. Their big thing is that their free hub ratchet has a dual ratchet mechanism. They've got one cut open here for me to show you. Let me grab this. So usually on your free hub body, you'll only have teeth on one side. This time we have two sets of teeth on each side, which are offset from each other. Basically, you can double the engagement angle. Also, double the friction, double the resistance, but you know, there's no such thing as a free lunch. But yeah, elite wheels over here at Seattle with their full range of wheels. Okay, so everyone's complaining that bikes are getting more and more expensive, but Sava have you covered. So I saw this bike and it kind of caught my eye. First, we all know from last year at the Shanghai Bike Show, the Sava Dream Maker. Everyone saw this. I saw GCN and putting that in their video too, but that's the Dream Maker. But if you don't have a million dollars to spend, this is what you want, the Sava EX7. So when I saw this at first, I was like, oh, that's a good looking bike. But then when you look closely, you start to see just some hints of some welds because this is actually an aluminum frame. So pretty crazy to get this kind of tube shaping out of aluminum. You can see they've got all the cutouts for the top tube and the head tube intersection here. Uh, these crazy forms. Making a bike like this out of aluminum is pretty crazy. But this bike here, the EX7, so alloy rims, alloy frame, and then mostly D uh, Shimano 105 group set apart from the crank. So this bike, as you see here, $15.99. And now Solver, their big thing, is they're also setting up a dealer network in North America. So at the moment, they have more than 10 dealers in North America. But obviously, Seattle, they've had lots more people come and talk to them, so that uh, is gonna get bigger and bigger. So if you want a bike, then you just go into store and buy. Uh, yeah, Solver is gonna be an option in the future. So here at the felt booth, I bumped into the, the one and only, the What's race fluencer, Charles <laughs> May. But also I found maybe the only pair of CRWs at Sea Otter, so that brought my attention in. Yes. Charles, how you doing? Good, finally nice to meet you in real life. Yeah, We've been talking for the last four years and now we get to meet. Our bromance. Yes. Edit up, put a little heart up here or something. <laughs> Uh, but no, so you're here racing, you're here yeah. with Fel. Tell us what's going on. Yeah, so I mean, just here, the trade show is amazing. You get to meet the, the whole industry is here. That's the right place to, to see people like that you know, make connection. But it's also a place that you come and you can race. There's different, there's like 17 different races from road to mountain bike to cross country. And uh, last year I did a gravel race. Not recommend, it's a mountain bike race on a gravel bike. So this year I brought my felt. ARFRD top of the line carbon. It has the Techstream uh, layup carbon, which is like a super high end way of doing it. I love this bike. And of course, came with, not came, I upgrade to the CRWD 5060, if I'm correct. Where'd you uh, buy those wheels? I got them on Panda Podium, of course, the best place on the internet to get the high end Chinese quality product. Uh, they're fast, they're stiff. They're durable. Uh, like Chris Miller, I love to say, these wheels hold this, their speed. 
And, uh, and, uh, and before the controversial cyclist takes me out, we're not being paid to say this, right? Like, no, oh, I'm truly a fan of what, <laughs> uh, what Joe has been uh, doing online. So next on the bike, uh, what do we have? So um, here, top cap mount for a 360 camera. It has the best angle of view. You see your cockpit, you see around yourself. I love you see it. Your cockpit and you see your cockpit. You see your cockpit and you see your cockpit. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm running um, Magine uh, PES dual sided power meter it has 165 mil crank 5339 so far i love it it's a little bit on the heavy side it's like a 105 weight uh but the price is super low double sided power meter it looks accurate so far um i love it also available on panopodium.cc yes exactly other than that i recently switched to shimano pedals okay why did, why did you leave luck um i just tried and then i feel like they're smoother okay. like the, the float is gradually declining uh, as uh, Luke is a bit like on ice skates. You just don't want me to borrow your bike, huh? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Other than that, Duro Ace uh, Shimano, um, good enough. How was the race yesterday? You raced this yesterday? I raced this. Um, I, my fitness went down over the last couple of months because uh, family, a little baby girl, but uh, it was super fun. Raced the Big Cat, top 10. That's, uh, that's all I needed. You good stuff. Uh, what's going on for you? I, I saw you got some sponsored athlete stuff going on. What tell us about that? Yeah, I I realized over the years that um, people don't know how to get sponsorship and people don't know how to reach out to brands and people have difficulty to get free equipment, budget, race registra race registration, um, money from brands. And I realized I have a lot of knowledge over 12 years of experience in that field. And I package everything I know into a five hour, five hour course on how, how to get sponsor, how to get free products, how to get hooked up by brands. And it's available on sponsoredathlete.io. And I'll vouch for this because this guy knows his stuff. Back in the day when I was working at a brand, which I won't name, uh, this guy sent me an email. At that time, like, I'm not talking crap, but he had like no subscribers. But the way he wrote his email was super professional. And he was like one of the first uh, influencers who worked it back in the day. So if there's anyone who knows how to get free stuff, uh, it's this guy here. So uh, yeah, yeah, check I'm, out his I'm course. teaching everything I know. Cool, cool. Awesome. Thank you, Joe. You too. So over here on the board booth, I was brought over by these fancy shirts and this fancy tent. But then what really caught my eye was this rim. Why did it catch my eye? Obviously, we're over in Shaman where all of these rims are usually made. But Boyd are bringing some uh, carbon fiber manufacturing stateside. So they're bringing a the whole carbon fiber manufacturing facility to South Carolina. They're going to be building their rims in-house from now on. So that's super, super cool to hear. Uh, this is a kind of like a, a demo, a mock-up, if you will, of their forthcoming technology. But this is all wound around a, max, uh, a wax mandrel and then resin injected later. Uh, super cool production stuff, obviously high-end carbon fiber. So yeah, it's good to see that branching out from just China and uh, coming here stateside. So here we are at the Insta360 booth. They've obviously just launched their brand new X4. Uh, so I've actually had this in for review on the channel but not finished the video quite yet. Uh, but the short version of it is now it has 8K, uh, high resolution before, previously it was 5.7K. But yeah, you guys know it's a 360 camera so it's recording everything around you. And after the fact you can crop in and see it how you want. But these guys are really pushing on the cycling front. Obviously being here at Sea Otter is a show of that. But yeah, have lots of different ways to mount them on your bikes. Mount them, mount them with strips, mount them with helmet and stuff. But uh, yeah, Insta360 also over here at Sea Otter. So here we are walking past the Helium Bike Store. I found a bike that looks like my size. Now Helium Bikes, so weird and wonderful here at the Seattle Show. Their thing is making super light bike parts for kids BMX. Uh, this bike, as you see it here, is like 4.6 kilos, but they make bikes as light as 3.6 kilos with pedals, with everything. So super light little BMX things for the kids. Uh, their thing is like attention to the detail. So even the Q factor on the cranks is super narrow. But yeah, I just love seeing all of this stuff that's uh, just an another world to the, the usual carbon road bike scene. Uh, another stand that caught my attention was this Noble stand. Uh, so on the Noble stand, their big thing was custom making your wheels. So, you know, I like anything that's not mainstream and not any of the big brands. But yeah, uh, Noble Wheels, it seems they've partnered with one of the factories in, uh, in Shaman 2 to be able to get you a nice choice of rims. Uh, but yeah, their thing is that you can tell them exactly what wheel you want to build and they'll uh, help you build the wheel. I'll choose the hub for you, choose the spokes for you, all that stuff and just, uh, yeah, customize your wheel. So they're based up in Canada. So yeah, good service for North America. And uh, yeah, check out Noble Wheels. In general, the show is pretty interesting, uh, but there's not that much new tech on display. It's obviously pitched as a bike festival, so you know there's racing going on, and it's a chance to see the product lineup of most of the brands, but most of the products are things that you've seen before in your local bike shop. 
Uh, either way, it's a cool gathering of the bike industry. You know, I got to be, meet a bunch of people and brands that I've been working with for years but never met face to face. Uh, you see a lot of pro athletes riding around. There's also a whole bunch of YouTubers and journalists, uh, vegan cyclists. Tyler Pierce was there, uh, one of my YouTubing heroes, so it was cool to meet him and have a chat. Uh, I actually got to r ride with him out in Fresno a few days ago too. Super nice guy. He's as genuine in real life as he's on camera. So uh, I've got to go race around the Laguna Seca track in a few hours, so I'm going to wrap up this video here. Uh, but let me know if there's anything you want to see in here at Sea Otter, and I'll put it in the next video. So that about covers day one of Sea Otter 2024. Anything interesting? I don't know. A bit different to a Chinese bike show for sure, but there was definitely some, uh, some diamonds in the rough, as it were. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, remember to check out pandapodium.cc. China Cycling, out.